put forward for approval or consideration. So you have a plan in mind which is given in the question paper and for that plan you need to write a proposal. Now what do you do with the proposal? If I can get back to the slide again, I'll tell you why I have written certain things in black and certain things in red. The slide please mm. for the proposal writing, question number 2b. You say you give a heading. Now the things written in black mm. are the things you have to include in the proposal. Without writing, give a heading. Don't write, give a heading. You just give a heading. Mm. But those three in red, introduction, statement of objectives, and Stop. list of measures. These are the three subheadings that you will need to write when you are writing a proposal. So you have to write introduction and then write the introduction. You have to write statement of objective and then you have to write the statement of objective. Okay. Then you have to write list of measures, mm -hmm. then you write down the list of measures. And then you end your proposal with a concluding sentence and then finally you put your signature. That is how you attempt a proposal writing question. Now let us take a specimen question for proposal writing. What will be the pre uh, question? Let us take it, maybe go to the next slide. So here is a proposal, a specimen proposal. As the president of the student council, you want to organize a newspaper collection program. Write a proposal stating the measures you would take for an effective outcome of the program. So your question is clear. As the president of the student council, you want to organize a newspaper collection program. Write a proposal stating the measures you would take for an effective outcome of the program. Hmm. So how do you go about writing the proposal? You see, there is the written proposal for you hmm. and you can see that. First of all, you give a heading. What is the heading? The next slide, please. Yes, proposal for newspaper collection program. That is your heading. Now, where are you getting the heading from? You are getting the heading from, from the, the question, question paper itself. It's given in the question paper. So you put down that heading. It's a proposal for newspaper collection program. Hmm. Simple as that. You see how simply you can attempt your question. You don't have to think much. Then you give the introduction. Introduction or is, it is also called heading. But I'm using the word introduction because I've already used a heading before that proposal for collecting newspapers. Now what do you write in the introduction? We propose to have a newspaper collection program for a month to raise funds and contribute to missionaries of charity for social welfare. What have you written? First of all, you have written what you propose to do. So you are repeating that. We propose to organize a newspaper collection program. You have got that in the question paper. Now comes your thinking. Why do you want to do it? Your immediate reason for doing it. Why do you want to do it? You want to do it for raising funds. Hmm. What are you going to do with the newspapers? So you're raising funds. And what are you going to do with the funds? You are going to donate it hmm. to an organization for social welfare. So you see your introduction actually has your program and the reasons for having that program. Two reasons, remember students, hmm. but be careful what you are writing. You are writing the immediate reasons for the program. You see, it's as simple as that. Now suppose you write newspaper collection program to collect newspapers. That is not what you are supposed to write because you have already written the newspaper collection program. So it is understood it is to collect newspaper. But what are you going to do with the newspaper is important. You are going to raise funds out of it. That's an immediate thing that you thought about. And why do you raise the funds? You raise the funds so that you can donate for social purpose. So that is your reason for collecting the newspaper. So that is your introduction. In the introduction, you write your proposal and you also give the two immediate reasons or the two proper reasons for doing that thing so that it helps you in some way. That is what you have thought about. Your objective actually is that. Then you come to the next step. You see, you remember those three red subheadings that I had showed you earlier. 
First is done now, introduction, okay? Now we come to the next point. What is the next, next point? Statement of objective, okay? Now what is the statement of objective? What do you write here? Statement of objective, in the statement of objective you have to write the broader reasons. You know, the sublime reasons. Why do you want to start this program at school? Why do you want to collect the funds in this manner? And why do you want to donate it to an organization? Because you have something bigger in mind. You want to inculcate certain habits in the student. You want to do something good. You want to teach something to the students. As a senior student, you have to do this. So what are you planning? You write that. This program will help students to learn to contribute to social purpose. So you see, just by bringing newspapers to school, they are learning to contribute for social purpose and it will also inculcate habits of kindness among the students. These are the two sublime or the broader perspectives of it. You can also write, students will learn to save things for donating for bigger reasons, a bigger purpose or for social purpose, anything of that sort. So that is more sublime reason. So the objective that you are driving at, that means what you want to achieve through this program. You have planned a program, you have reasons for doing it. Now what do you want to achieve through that program? Just simply conducting the program is not enough. So these are the objectives. So you write the statement of objectives. Again, you write two such reasons in the statement of objectives why you want to go about with that program. So the program actually is defined here. Your program, why you want to do it, what are the purpose that you want to achieve through it, okay? So that is the statement of purpose. So the first two points are covered for proposal writing. Now we come to the list of measures. You see the subheading, list of measures. What are measures? Measures means certain steps that you take so that your program becomes successful. So you thought about a program. You are the senior student of the school, you are given a responsibility, you have thought about some kind of measures. How to go about with the program so the program becomes successful. Ma'am, uh, I'm yes. interrupting for a second. There's a student uh, on the phone. Onuma is calling from Patna. Hi, Onuma. Sorry, the call is disconnected. Ma'am, please carry on. Yes. So I was talking about list of measures. It's given there in the title, list of measures. You enlist the points, step by step, how you will go about with the program. So what do you do for a newspaper collection program? The first thing, students will be told to bring newspapers to school. Simple thing, you see? It can easily come to your mind. Students will bring old newspapers to school. So students are bringing the newspapers, the first step. What will be the next step? The students have brought the newspaper. Now what? Somebody needs to collect the newspapers. Who is going to collect it? The house captains will be responsible for collecting the same from the students. So you see now you are delegating the job. You have involved a team. So the house captains are looking into the matter. So they are going to collect the newspapers from the students. All right? So they are collecting the newspapers from the students and your next step is done. Now what to do with that collection? You think, you have collected the newspapers, where do you keep them? You have to store the newspapers somewhere. So you have thought about something. What did you think about? The antechamber of the library may be used for storage of the newspapers. Now, look at the language. The antechamber of the library may be used. I'll tell you to emphasize on this point, maybe. Ma'am, uh, I, I want to know about uh, report writing of class 11. Okay. Uh, yes, Priyanshu. You just uh, continue follow, uh, you for, try to follow our program and we will discuss it afterwards, ma'am. Sure, I'll be coming to report writing, Priyanshu. I'll be discussing report writing for sure. Alright. So now, I have done with the third step. So you have planned to store the newspapers somewhere. Now what is to be done? The newspapers are collected, the newspapers are stored. Now the newspapers need to be sold. So that is your next step. 
The newspapers may be sold at the end of the month. The collection may be sold at the end of the month. So that is your next plan. Now the newspapers are sold. What has come to your hands? Funds. You have already decided on what to do with the funds. So the funds to be donated to the missionaries of charity. That is your next step. All right? So you are planning the next step. Once the funds are collected, the funds may be submitted to the missionaries of charity for welfare purpose. You can think something more. You can say uh, food materials to be brought uh, for the missionaries of charity with that fund. Even that you can write. Now, you are the president of the student council. You have organized a program. You have delegated your job. Fine. But sometimes you need the supervision of a teacher. If the teacher is there, you know the program will be conducted well because everybody is going to listen to that teacher. All right? So what do you do? And sometimes, you know, you love to involve teachers into your activities so that the teacher also appreciates what you've done. So now you're giving another suggestion. The whole program may be supervised by our SCPW teacher. And you name your SCPW teacher. Again, may be supervised. You're requesting your SCPW teacher to supervise that program. It is your program. And you're requesting your SCPW teacher to supervise the program. You see, your list of measures are done. Simple thing. What have you done? You've thought about a plan. Now, when you think about a plan, you definitely have a plan how to go about. So you decide up with that one simple sentence. Hope our proposal will be accepted. And you put your signature. Since you are making a proposal, you also put your signature. In this case, because you are the president of the student council, so you put your designation. Neetu Kulkarni, president, students council. And your proposal is done. Ten marks are for you. You see? That is so easy. This is a new thing in your syllabus. You have to know how to take